it's CBD Tuesdays. Thank you for tuning in to Connecting Hope with CBD. Today, we want to continue to celebrate Charlotte Fiji, also known as Charlotte's Web. Stay tuned to hear how her miraculous story can give you hope. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Remembering and honoring 13-year-old Charlotte Figgy. She passed away Tuesday after a long battle with a rare form of epilepsy. She became a symbol of the possibilities of medical marijuana after our own Dr. Sanjay Gupta shared her story in his documentary, Weed and He Has More on Her Life. For the last 20 years, I have straddled the world of medicine and journalism. And in both professions, I'm always reminded Stay objective. Do your best work, but don't get too close. But with little Charlotte Figgy, that was impossible. She just had this way about her, that smile, that giggle, that just got you and captured your heart. Do you remember me? That was June 2019, I've, the last time I saw Charlotte. Oh, wait, I had And she was doing you. great. Walking well, pretty good, sweetheart. I can't imagine, back then, imagine she'd be 12 years old and seeing her at 12 years old and what that would look like. She was dying. When I first met Charlotte, it was 2013, for our first film on medical marijuana called Weed. Pitter-patter, pitter-pat, tiptoe, creep crawls in a cave. We had heard about this amazing six-year-old from Colorado who had a rare form of epilepsy. She had a seizure every 30 minutes, every one potentially fatal. No treatment had worked. And then one day, desperate, her parents gave her a non-psychoactive ingredient from the cannabis plant called cannabidiol, or CBD. This is Charlotte's web. She didn't have a seizure that day. And then she didn't have a seizure that night. Did you sit there and yeah. look at your watch? And <laughs> right, I thought, this is crazy. And it was at that moment, people started to see that marijuana, which had been considered dangerous, could also be a therapy. She changed my mind and opened my eyes to the possibility that this was a legitimate medicine. And in the process, she changed the world. Probably the most important thing I'll ever do was, was to help my own child and then share that information and help others. Charlotte Figgy was the entire CBD movement wrapped up into a sweet little girl with a big smile and an even bigger heart. Her story changed policy about cannabis. States were inspired by the story of Charlotte Figgy and made CBD more accessible around the United States to treat epilepsy. And in turn, scientists around the world wanted to study Charlotte's special CBD oil, research that before Charlotte, no one really seemed that interested in doing. I was begging researchers and physicians to work with us and help us understand the phenomenon that we were seeing and they absolutely wouldn't even talk to us. We we're laughed out of rooms. Now they beg to research our product. She's happy and outside and yeah. this is her jam. Charlotte yeah, lived yeah. her short life yeah. to the fullest. And while she was almost this mythical miracle, she was also just a little girl who loved to go tandem biking with her mom. And while the last month was not easy, she had symptoms of COVID-19 while never testing positive. She eventually developed pneumonia, which once again unleashed her seizures. Her mother, Paige, says Charlotte was still smiling and happy until the very end, when a seizure became more than her fragile little body could handle. Charlotte's life ended just as it began, in her mother's arms, surrounded by family who loved her, cherished her, and protected her. All forever changed by this little girl who forever changed the world and everyone, like me, who were caught in her glorious orbit. Please rest in peace, Charlie. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit more about her and the impact that she, I'm sorry, Sanjay, and the impact that she had on the on the world. Sure, you know, Poppy, um, thank you for letting us um, tell her story. Uh, you know, I think, I think when um, I first met her, uh, I was 
skeptical about um, cannabis as a medicine. I had written as such, you know, for Time Magazine years earlier, and and then then you meet somebody, and I thought her story was apocryphal, you know, somebody who who uh, had these crippling seizures and then seemed to have this remarkable turnaround with this medication, CBD. And then I started, you know, looking all over the world, scientists in different labs and finding patients all over the world who had stories just like her, thousands and thousands of people. And I realized that, um, she made me realize that it would not just be a moral failing, but not just a medical failing, but a moral failing if this medicine was somehow withheld from people. And so, you know, I, it's tough, Poppy. I, I am, I'm trying to keep it together just like you. I, my, my daughter sort of grew up with her. You know, I have three daughters of my own and it's one place I never let my mind go to think about, you know, loss like this. But um, she meant a lot, uh, obviously, to an entire um, movement and so much in, in the country, so much has changed, I think, of people seeing her story and, and, and understanding her story. But it's, um, it's, a, it's a really tough, tough loss, Poppy. Yeah, you said it so beautifully, her, her beautiful orbit, so. Sanjay, sorry, I didn't know it'd make me cry, but thank you for that, and just for what you've done through this whole crisis for all of these stories that you're humanizing for us. We appreciate you very much, and we'll be right back. Thank you, Poppy. <laughs>